I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. I've got another batch of battery test results for you, and no kidding, no clickbait. I think this is the best battery you can... <laughs> I think this is the best battery you can buy today for the money, for the money, the best battery you can buy today. I'm a little embarrassed to say it. When I started publishing battery test results, my goal was to make sure you know that these results are as objective and trustworthy as possible. And that's why I've developed a rigorous procedure that I follow strictly for every battery. So you, you know, the results, you can trust them. And that's also why I buy these batteries at retail using a secret shopper. I don't buy them using my own name. Who's this Joshua Bardwell guy buying batteries? Hmm, I wonder if it's the same one. No, that's my normal procedure. But this test doesn't follow that procedure and that's why I'm putting a big disclaimer up front. Especially because these test results are so freaking good. And I'm gonna spoil the ending of the video for those of you who don't sit around to watch me go through all the charts and graphs. These batteries at this is the 1500 is uh, 24 bucks and the 1300 is like 20 bucks. These batteries are performing on par, at least in my testing, with batteries that cost a lot more. And that's kind of a radical result. So when you're saying here is this battery uh, that is super cheap, like comp comparable price to a CNHL, but it outperforms them. Here are these batteries that are super cheap and they're performing way, way better than you would expect them to. And it just so happens that these batteries, yes, they were sent to me by Race Day Quads. I didn't buy them at retail. Race Day Quads actually sent them to me before they went on sale and said, can you test these just so, you know, we can make sure that they're good. Um, okay, so we got to just put the disclaimer on that. And the other thing that I got to put a disclaimer on this is a terrible way to start a video, right? With all these disclaimers, but it's the honest thing to do. And I care more about that than I care about getting clicks or selling product. The other thing we got to put a disclaimer on is that when I did the GoFundMe to buy the equipment that lets me do the battery testing, this equipment was really, it was like four grand to buy this test gear. Uh, Ray Day Quads was a really substantial contributor. And they said, hey, you know, we just believe in what you're doing and we want to help you make this happen. If you're okay with taking the money, we're okay with giving it to you. And some people would say, oh, well, they paid him for the results. And now he's saying they're the greatest batteries ever. And I go, well, I, I hear you. The results are what they are. I, I followed my test procedures absolutely to the letter. These are the results I've got. And now I'm going to release them. And if you don't trust him, hey, pause the video. This guy's, a, this guy's paid. He's bought and paid. He's a hack. He's a shill. Bye. I'll see you later. For the rest of you who stick around though, in my test results, this is a shockingly good battery for 20 bucks. I mean, it, let's take a look at the results and see how it did. Here are the spec sheets for the two batteries and you can see that both of these batteries in my testing came in with a continuous discharge rate of 60 amps or less and a pulse discharge rate of 80 amps or less. So these batteries fall into the same bin in my testing. But if we look at the actual numbers, we can see that the 1500 did slightly better in terms of milliamp hours discharged, 901 milliamp hours discharged at 60 amps for the 1500, 729 milliamp hours discharged at 60 amps for the 1300. So Although they fall in the same bin, the 1500 performs slightly better. We see that come out also in the pulsed discharge test where I do a five second discharge and a five second recovery to see, to see if the battery performs. Maybe some, some batteries might pulse better than they do a continuous discharge. And in the pulse discharge test at a rate of 70 amps, the 1500 completed seven pulses. In the pulse discharge test, the 1300 at a discharge rate of 70 amps completed only four pulses. So the 1500 is a slightly bigger battery, can hold slightly more current for slightly longer, as you would expect. In terms of weight, the 1500 comes in at 187 grams, whereas the 1300 comes in at 171 grams. So about 20 grams lighter, a little less than 20 grams lighter. And if you look at the dimensions, you can see the 1300 is just slightly smaller, 35 by 31 
versus 35 by 34. So it's just three millimeters bigger. Now you can download these PDFs if you want to look at the actual discharge curves and, and dig into that yourself. Uh, and, and we're going to look at how these batteries compare to some of their competitors, most notably things like CNHL, which come in at a similar price range. Before we do that, I want to tell you, I know that that looking at these PDFs is a is not a great way to get that. It's a great way to get information about one battery, but if you want to just want to know what's the best battery, what should I get, it's not a great way to do that. I want to show you guys something that I'm working on. This website is being worked on by uh, one of my patrons very generously started developing this for me. He's put in a ton, a ton of work. Uh, thanks so much to him. It's almost ready to go live. Uh, but basically the idea is that we want to be able to, um, to let you compare and search these results easier than by digging through the PDFs. It's very close, but it's been a, it's been a ton of work. You can see here, here are the results for one battery. And we've also got the charts. These are being generated from CSV files that are output. So this is not a static image. And what we want to do, we have, this is something we're working on now, is let you pull up multiple graphs and compare them but also pr to provide a way to sort of say okay i got a 1500 i want to search the 1300s and find the one with the best jb rating you know to let you search through them i want to give you guys a preview of this and let you know this is coming and this is actually why i haven't re released as many test results because i've been holding them i'm like so let's just put them up on the website but it's taken everything takes longer than you wish it would so it's taking a little bit of time it's all it'll be going live soon until then, I'll just keep making these videos and giving you PDFs, but I do want to let you know I'm working on it. Well, he's working on it. So, okay, then we'll use the new website. How do these Race Day Quads batteries compare to something like the CNHL? So CNHL comes in at 1300 milliamp hours, right? It comes in at a weight of 161 grams. And if we compare that to the Race Day Quads 1300 comes at 171 grams. So the CNHL is about 10 grams lighter. How does it perform though? How, what's the JB rating? The JB rating for this one is 50 amps or less with a pulse of 70 amps or less. So the Race Day Quads pack did 60 and 80 amps. And if we look at the discharge, the constant current at 50 amps, the CNHL discharged 743 milliamp hours, which is just about almost exactly the same as what the Race Day Quads did at uh, 60 amps. So the Race Day Quads delivered 10 more amps continuously while di discharging the same milliamp hours for a weight penalty of only about 10 grams. Mm, I don't know, up to you, but to me, this feel at just basically the same price, I think I would take 10 extra grams uh, in order to get the additional discharge capacity. If we go all the way to the top of the line, the Tattoo R-Line 1550, this is the 95C version, not the newer high volt 105C, but this is one of the best batteries I've tested and it discharged at 60 amps, 952 milliamp hours. Now this is a 1500 pack, so let's compare it to the Race Day Quads 1500, which discharged 901 milliamp hours. So the Tattoo R-Line did beat it okay they both discharged 60 amps but the r line discharged about 50 more milliamp hours but if we look at the weight this is a 195 gram battery so this 1550 is about 195 and 187 mm, it's not that much heavier actually it's not as it's about eight grams heavier that's so a little bit heavier a little bit better performance but if we look at the price the tattoo comes in at 38 bucks whereas the race day quads is 24 bucks and again it depends on what you're going for if you're a racer who just needs the absolute most performance maybe you're going to be willing to take the weight and the price penalty for the r line i think for the average person though these race day quads packs are just a, a really sweet spot in terms of price and performance and they would be my go-to battery for uh for somebody just getting into the hobby and looking for a budget pack mm, yeah they just they, whatever race day quads has done to get these packs they really have they've really hit a sweet spot. There you go. That is the test results for the race day quads 1300 and 1500 milliamp hour packs. Oh, right. The title of the video said there was a giveaway, didn't it? Yeah, I I have like I have five of these. I have uh, two of the 1300s and three of the 1500s, I think, maybe three and two of the others. I'm going to give them away. Yep, I these are great packs. I haven't done a giveaway in a while and uh, so I'm going to give them away to you. You can enter this giveaway by leaving one comment and one comment only below.
I am going to turn on moderation for the comments. You should not see anybody's comments except your own. And, and when you see that there's no other comments, yeah, that's because moderation is on, not because you're the only one who wants to win these batteries. Full terms and conditions for the giveaway are down in the video description. I will perform the drawing. It is the 13th now. I will perform the drawing for the 16th on the 16th. I usually give a couple days for you guys to enter. Perform the drawing on the 16th. I will post the video to my channel announcing the winner. So keep an eye back on the channel. Uh, if you're the winner, you'll need to get in touch with me to give me your mailing information so I can send the batteries out to you. Um, there's a catch though, isn't there? If you live outside the United States, I'm not sure I can ship you this many batteries at once. So let's just put a big asterisk on this giveaway. If you're outside the United States or if there's other shipping restrictions, we'll have to figure something out with the giveaway. But what I like to do is I like to just mail you these batteries, these very ones that have been through my test procedure. And uh, yeah, so enter the giveaway down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying.